Hi friends. In this video, I want to demonstrate how to work the first row of the sequence in the Saratoga stripes towel pattern. It's this first row that can be a little tricky, but after this, it's not tricky at all. I just want to make sure that your base row gets established correctly. And if you didn't understand the written pattern, some people learn better visually. So that's what this is for. Now, when I say wrap a row below or wrap the stitch, we're not going to be working in these top V's like you did in the row prior. The V's I'm talking about are these down here. See these V's facing you? And remember to keep the same chain count across each row going forward. So first, this whole space below is right here. It's easy to see because that's that loose area from the starting chain. Always keep your loops loose or this can get very tight and we don't want a tight towel. Next, there's that whole space. So we're basically working just above that base starting chain. And pick up a loop and that's going to wrap that row below. And I'll do this all the way across and I'm going to show you best practices for color changing if you're not used to doing that. Just work across again that bottom space and that B. Pull up a loose loop. Space. Mm, coming to the end. This is a sage green yarn. It's not the lighting. It's really pretty in person. I don't think it looks great on camera though. But I like to make spa style cloths out of this. All right, so here I'm coming to my last stitch. So I'll pull up a loop, and this is where I'm going to introduce the next contrasting color. So instead of closing that chain out with the color I have been using, I'm going to pull in the new one. Chain one, turn my work. Let me do a couple of single crochets here and show you what a nice smooth color transition that is. You want to make sure you're keeping your yarn snug when you do this because otherwise these free ends can get a little loose like a loose tooth. Remember when you lost those when you were young. Okay, so you can see seamless color transition. One thing I will say, if you're used to weaving in your ends as you go, I would not recommend doing that with this particular pattern because the way the wrap row shows, it's also going to let your contrasting color peek through and it does not look good. So you'll have to weave them in and there aren't that many. There's three for the three color changes for the stripes and if you're doing stripes at both ends, either for placemat style or because you just want two sets of stripes on your towel, then that'll be six ends to weave in, so not too bad. All right, if you use another color combo, I would love to see it. You can tag me on Instagram. My information is down below, and I hope this was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.